What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with more Dokkan Battle. Now, this is quite insane. I mean, really, really, really insane. Uh, we only recently started getting the 120 lead EZAs, and, well, this came across the desk just this evening. That is right. Int Goku, a category leader, mind you, is getting an EZA on JP. Now, we're missing, like, five or six EZAs on JP for 120 leads. And now we're getting category leaders. This is unbelievable in insane. Now, to be fair for you global players out there, this does mean we will probably be pretty close to caught up. Uh, with the 120 lead EZAs by the time we get this because we're pretty close to what JP has at this point. But this is absolutely nuts. Now, big shout out to Goresh over on uh, Twitter. Um, I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description down below because he did talk about this and he's the one who translated this. Um, leader skill Realm of Gods category key plus three HP attack and defense 160%. All stats, 160. Pretty damn nice. Or int type key plus 3, HP attack and defense, 100%. Passive skill, attack and defense, here's what's wild. Attack and defense, 50%, awakens when HP is 50% or below. Or, I'm sorry, attack and defense, 150%. And I'll explain here in a minute why that's insane. Super attack uh, raises attack and defense indefinitely and causes immense damage to the enemy. This is pretty crazy. Now, if we uh, kind of swap back over to the game for a moment, let me explain why this is so kind of nuts. All right. So not only is he a category leader and, and you know, so basically instead of where he's at now, uh, he's going to get another 10% lead. You know, it's not the end of the world, but it it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, currently raises attack, causes immense damage. You're adding the defense to that. And if we go in here, attack and defense 100% becomes 150%. But what's really crazy here, if we go into transformations, we go to his transform state. Now, we don't have the information on his transform state yet. But if we go in here, the passive skill is key plus three... Which apparently it doesn't give us here. Key plus three, attack 150%. Great chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack. So what are they going to do with the transform state? Now, I'm willing to bet it's going to be 170 to 200%. 200 would almost be insane, but we keep up with a lot of LRs in the game right now, which is wild to think about, but it's possible. They might even, and hopefully do, improve his his dodge because his dodge kind of i mean there's a reason that i mean to be fair you have no choices in int unit he's going to get dodge but extra dodge and extra dodge and extra dodge really isn't such a bad thing and no i've not really leveled this guy up um i rarely use him i use the strength but now that he's getting an easy a you better believe he's going on rotations and i'm going to be leveling him up in preparation for this dropping on global so it's pretty wild um I'm willing to bet his SA isn't going to change between the two states because it hasn't here. But he is going to get a pretty, pretty, pretty beefy passive after he transforms in this state. So at this point, we don't know what it is, but you can let me know in the comments section down below what you think that he's going to get. Now, it is worth noting that he also has the first Awakened. And that becomes what I believe... 30% after he's he's level 10 so it's he's gonna have some crazy 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 link skills and this unit is going to be hitting like a truck basically back to the level he was equivalent to when he dropped in the game that crazy op so those of you that are in global yes this will be dropping in july probably late july uh, we're right now we're a week into the anniversary, and this usually drops, and you've got a couple of days. So, um, but for global, you'll probably get this late July. That said, it is worth watching and being 
hyped about. JP Dokkan's anniversary is nothing to scoff at. They've already dropped a UI Goku and an Evolution Blue Vegeta, and it is wild. Now, then, that does pose a big question. A lot of people have kind of surmised that because UI Goku's getting his easy A, that Evolution Blue might get his easy A. And I think that's quite possible, but to be fair, we haven't had, like, a proper Extreme Z battle uh, since, what, third anniversary, I think? At least not, not during the uh, anniversary itself. So, what was it? Go on, I think, was the last one that was a proper Extreme Z battle. So... We might, we might not. You know, it's it's a tough call. Or maybe the EZA will drop the medals for both. Who knows? But let me know what you guys think in the comments section because I am blown away by this information. The anniversary just keeps getting better and better and better and better. And those of you on Global, pay attention because this is everything that's coming to our version of the game in less than six months and it's stuff that you want to be prepared for hence why i'm dropping the video so guys let me know what you thought in the comments like and subscribe i'm gonna be back at you guys with more dokkan battle here very soon